Okay, hello, right. So, just quickly update the information. Okay, so, welcome to um, the first of a series that I am calling uh, Welcome to Overwatch which is a very simple series, it is just simply me going through each of the heroes one by one, explaining what they do, showing it off, giving also a bit of lore, and then trying them out in a few matches. <coughs> I am a fairly decent player with some heroes, a terrible player with others. Um, so this week we're kind of looking at what are sometimes considered the faces of the various classes. So I'm just going to go into the practice range so I can just show off some various things. So this is just an area where we can um, mess around with the heroes. There are a few targets, there's some stuff to heal. You know, it's not you get you it's not particularly useful if you want to practice actually like playing the game but it's fun to mess around in sometimes um okay so there are four classes of heroes down here first we have offensive heroes these are specialized around doing damage and particularly pushing forward so they're what you want if you want to um, press forward on the attack um, and yeah their counterparts the defense heroes specialize in holding a particular area so you've got either snipers like Hanzo and Widowmaker this is Hanzo um, you've got area control like Junkrat and Mei and then you've got Torbjorn and Bastion, who both specialise in kind of turrets. Then you have tanks, whose role is generally to be big, have lots of HP, and do um, and kind of take a lot of the aggro. There's a couple of variations, like not all tanks are the same, obviously. And then finally, you have support, who are generally the healers, or provide some other service. So. <coughs> Today I'm going to take you through five heroes, um, both here and in matches, and I think we will start with the face of a franchise, who you'll probably have seen in various places, Tracer. Um, Tracer, aka Lena Oxen, is a former Overwatch fighter pilot. So one of the things you need to know about the lore of Overwatch is the actual organisation shut down a long time, shut down several years ago. Um, its base kind of blew up when the two commanders started fighting each other. We'll get to them in a bit. So Tracer is a very fast base character. She's also actually one of my worst characters to play, so it's going to be an interesting demonstration. So her basic fire, fairly simple. Um, so her main thing is the ability to do these blinks. So Tracer, in the lore, Tracer suffered this um, accident while in a experimental fighter jet, which means that she actually now exists outside of time. Um, if you look at her hero design, this kind of harness thing she has on um, is a what's called a chrono accelerator, um, which basically keeps her stable and allows her to exist. Um, and this kind of manifests in a lot of her abilities. So she can blink forward like this. Um, she can also go in other directions. Um, she can charge up to three of these blinks at once. Um, and they take about a second to go. To go. Um, the other thing she can do. So if I just stand in the way of this robot firing at me. Take a bit of damage. Okay. Her other ability is basically rewinding time. So she returns to where she was 
standing when she, three seconds before she activated it, with the same amount of health and ammo as she did when she had it. Um, this is a health pack. Uh, there are two sizes, one that heals 75 health, one that heals 200 health. Uh, this one is one of the big ones that heals 200 health. Now, you'll notice that there's a circle in the bottom, uh, which has now charged, beaches was a counter that was charging up and has now got this uh, picture in it. That is the, your ultimate ability. So ultimate abilities are a super powerful ability of a character that you can only use once they're charged up. Tracers charges up very quickly and it is called a pulse bomb. So essentially what you do, it's got a very narrow area of effect. What you can do is attach it to it. Um, good tracers can use them to take out entire teams. I have seen one where a tracer stuck someone with that bomb and then they flew back towards their own team and blew them all up um, by accident. So, yeah, um, that's tracer. Very fragile, so some of the lowest HP in the game. Um, but in the right hands, incredibly difficult to kill. So let's move on to our next offense hero. Um, there are more offense heroes than the rest of the types, so two of these episodes will have an extra offense hero in them. Um, so in this one, we have Jesse McCree. You may have noticed he is a cowboy. There is no explanation for why he's a cowboy, he just is. Um, he used to be a gang member, he got taken in by one of the commanders, the commander of the Black Ops Division of, um, Overwatch when uh, he basically got given choice of Overwatch or Jail. Um, and he's just a really good shot. Um, <laughs> that's basically it. He's currently... He's technically an outlaw for reasons that I'm not quite sure. But he... You know, he's generally willing to chip in and help out if needed. Although he prefers to stay on the down low. His abilities are actually fairly simple. So, number one, very powerful, very powerful, very accurate gun, which is very nice if you can actually aim. So once he's going, also if I right click, I unleash all the ammo in the gun in one go. Um, that's called fanning the hammer. And it used to be that that could take out tanks in one shot. And obviously, so if I have four shots in here this time, the ammo is in the bottom right corner. Um, when I, It won't do as much damage. You can also punch things, like so. Oh, he's also got a robot arm. Right. So... I'm just going to nearly, but not quite, open... Okay, so if I basically done, his next ability is his forward roll, which makes him move a bit quicker and also automatically recharges his, uh, re reloads his gun. So the idea is that you do that and then you immediately you roll forward and then you can immediately do it again. His other ability um, next to it is a Flashbang, which is very handy. It does a small amount of damage, but more importantly, it stuns them for about a second or so, um, which can be vital for getting off a good hit. His final ability, you may have heard because it is a bit of a meme. This is his ultimate. Um... So basically what his ultimate does, it is a lock-on system. So um, you spend a bit of time and the more, the longer you spend locked on to someone, the more damage it does. Um, amusingly, um, you, quite often this ends up with McCree getting killed while he tries to charge up enough. And while most characters rely on, you know... <clears throat> some kind of super tech to unleash during their um, during their ultimate. McCree's ultimate is literally he just concentrates for a bit longer. Uh, 
Okay, um, Hood, are you getting Undertale? Uh, Undertale? Are you getting, um, game audio? Hello? That... Are you getting that? I've just turned it up. Um, for those of you watching this as a recording, um, we're just trying to get work out some sound issues. Cool. Yeah, it. I just had it on a bit too low. So let's try this again. Everyone has a different call. <coughs> Everyone has a different call when they activate their ultimate. Um, and it's different depending on whether you're um, listening to yourself do it, your enemies do it, or your teammates do it. So when an enemy McCree does it, or when you as McCree use it as ultimate, you hear it's high noon. Um, when your teammate does it, you hear step right up. Okay, so we move out of the... Um, Offense heroes into the defense heroes. Uh, so now we're looking at Hanzo, who is a disgraced Yakuza member who kind of sort of nearly murdered his brother and has been trying to take, um, uh, trying to take uh, responsibility for that. Um, so he's a bit of a wandering loner at this point. Um, as you can see, for some reason, he uses a bow. Um, it's got some good things, so effectively infinite ammo, you don't need to worry about loading. Um, very long range, so he's one of the sniper characters. Um, okay, so in terms of abilities, okay, that's his ult. I did not mean to press that button. Um, uh, so that was Dragon Strike, where he fires a dragon at the enemy team. That will just keep going. Um, so that will move through any walls and just keep going. But it is fairly easy to dodge. However, if you get a bunch of enemies in line, you can kill a lot of them. His next ability is a recon arrow. Um, so now I can see those robots through the walls. So it kind of gives an area where you can see through walls to see where the enemies are. Pretty handy. Then we have his scatter arrow, which means that he can sort of fire around corners. Um, so in that case, I managed to just hit the robot in the head. Um, I like playing Hanzo, he's quite fun. Oh, he can also run at walls. Because why not? Uh, I think it's a secret clan technique because his brother Genji can do it as well. Um, beep. Um, as you can see, I'm not very good at dealing with moving targets. Okay, so I'll just release an ult. Um, if you look in the top right corner, you can see the kill feed. So that tells you who has died, who killed them, and how. We can be useful for seeing if your teammates are suddenly being picked off one by one. Um, obviously at the moment, it's not really telling you much. But... There we go. Right. Moving on to the tank. We have Reinhardt! You have to say his name that way. Uh, Reinhardt is a huge man in a huge suit of armour with a rocket hammer. Just as um, so his big ability, and why he is such a well-used tank, is this big old shield that you can see here. So if I go and stand in front of these friendly robots, um, the shield takes damage instead of us. 
which is very useful. Um, some attacks like uh, Symmetrical Orb can pass through the shield, um, and uh, lots of too much damage will break it. It has a health bar, and if I leave it, it will charge back up. It's next to my health in the bottom left corner. Right, so, what other abilities does he have? Well, there's this. Um, his charge ability, <laughs> which is great fun. Um, so basically, it allows... Basically, he charges across, and if an enemy gets hit directly... Um, if an enemy gets caught directly, he will hit them, and if they get slammed against the wall, they take a large amount of damage. A couple of the other tanks can take it, but not many. Um, his only rain, real ranged attack is his fire strike attack, which only does um, 100 damage. There is a risk when using his charge ability though, allow me to demonstrate. You will notice that this robot is standing in front of a cliff. Um, there's a packed out voice line where Reinhardt just shouts, IT WAS WORTH IT! When you do that, um, which is hilarious. Um, then we have his ultimate, Earth, sh Earth Shatter, which goes like this. It stuns the, um, any opponent that it hits. Um, so the idea, the ideal is you stun them, Hit them with a fire strike and then charge them. Of course, the other idea is that you have a bunch of teammates around you who are busy firing at them themselves. Uh, in terms of Reinhardt's. So, one of the big events in, Overw in Overwatch's backstory was called the Omnic Crisis, which basically it was a massive robot rebellion. Um, against humanity, except that the robots aren't sure why they did it. Um, I'll get into that more when we get into the Omnix uh, session. Um, but yeah, for now, the Omnic, um, the Omnic Crisis, which was the catalyst for setting up Overwatch, um, is kind of a mystery. Um, I will note that... Oh. I will note that Overwatch has a lot of kind of lore videos and stuff online, like comics and stuff like that, um, which are generally pretty high quality, so I recommend checking them out. Uh, finally, we're going with the most healy of healers. This is Mercy. Please excuse the boob plate. Um, she, her name is uh, Angela Ziegler. She is a brilliant doctor from uh, Switzerland, and she joined Overwatch as a field medic. Um, so, this is her staff. It has two abilities. Either you can heal your allies, so you'll notice that go back up, or you can increase their damage. Her main ability is... Resurrecting people! <laughs> um... Which is incredibly powerful. She's had a lot of changes. So originally, she had an ability that increased that res. Her ultimate ability increased her um, increased the healing, f inc um, resurrected people, everyone around her. But that got nerfed, um, and it's now a normal ability with a very long cooldown. Um, so one of her <coughs> other abilities is her wings, which allows her to fly over to friendly teammates. So if she locks onto them, she can fly over. Um, she does have a gun, which she switches between with buttons 1 and 2. But it's not exactly... Oh yeah, um, she has quite a lot of funny voice lines if you kill people in melee with her. Um, I'll see if I can get her to play my favourite. Come back here. Um, 
Paralysis is not good. No, but it's not bad. Okay. Sorry. Come back here. Say ah. Okay, one of her voice lines is you might not want to tell your friends about that. Which I find hilarious. Her ultimate is Valkyrie. Which is where she can now fly. And she has two basically three reses, whereas the other time it would take something like a half minute cooldown. Um, you can see that circle in the center, that's telling you how long it takes, how long she has left to do it. Um, she also gets a damage boost, I think, when in Valkyrie mode. Um, so yeah, uh, that is Mercy. So that is the five heroes I'm going to be kind of showcasing today. Um, Mercy has, so we know Mercy kind of remade the character Genji after he was killed by his brother. Um, we, um, and so she's a bit of a mad scientist. Um, however, there's a lot we don't know about her. Like, there's a lot of characters who she could be directly involved in. I mean, she's a medic who's worked out how to resurrect people from the dead, like, something's going on, but we don't know what. Um, there's a tendency in fandom to assume that she's evil, which the Overwatch creators have denied, but then again, they've chained her toolkit so many times, she might be evil now, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so having looked at them in this area, we're going to ha go and mess around with them on the, um, we go go and mess around with them in some matches, so you can see what they're like when their targets aren't standing still. Oh, as usual, there is a little voice that says how many kills you get. So, I'll just talk about the, um various game modes. So we have quickly, which is just you jump straight into a game. Arcade, which has a bunch of games with various different rules. So this one will always they've just released a new map, Blizzard World. So this one will always be on Blizzard World. This one is usually it's a team match, which is based around capturing areas. This one is a death match. Uh, this one is a team kind of elimination, but each time so if you kill someone, if you win, the characters you use for that map you can't use again. Total Mayhem is just ridiculous and it is basically everyone has double health, does more damage and their abilities charge up more quickly. Um, it's kind of terrifying. Mystery Heroes, you don't get to choose your heroes, you just get whoever's thrown at you. And there's lots of different modes like this. So if you right click on it, you can see um, the information for Total Mayhem. I'm not going to play Total Mayhem. <laughs> um, then we have competitive. This is like the more formal thing. Ranks go from uh, 500 to... Well, un if you're below 500, they just say under 500. Um, and up to 7,000. So I am nearly at the third rank gold. Uh, game browser, you can look at some very particular games. So we're just going to go quick play and uh, have a couple of games and see if we can show off the various characters that we've been looking at. Um, I'm probably going to do it fairly quickly. So let's start with Tracer. Um, so this map is called Elios. And essentially, um, it is a King of the Hill map. So each, both teams are fighting over the same area. Uh, in this one, we're trying to capture the building, un like the kind of area underneath a lighthouse building. Um, I suspect we're not going to do very well because, as you can tell, we have lots of snipers. In fact, we have the maximum number of snipers. We have Hanzo, Widowmaker, and Anna. Um, and we don't have any tanks. 
So I think Tracer may be swapped out for Reinhardt pretty quickly. Um, but that's fine, because as long as you get an idea... I'll do it for long enough that you guys can kind of get an idea of what she's like to play. Um, I can be kind of... rash when I'm playing. Um... Yeah, it's quick play. Nothing matters. That's our Soldier 76. Bye bye. So here, I've just killed a Soldier 76. That is a Bastion, who can turn into a turret form that has a Gatling gun that does a lot of damage. Um, that's a Hanzo in a different skin. That is a Roadhog. He is very big, can heal himself, and has a hook to drag people in. Um, he used to be doing able to do terrifying amounts of damage as well. Um, but they nerfed that and gave him an extra... Um, basically, if you got grabbed by him, it used to be kind of a death sentence. Um, I'm firing at a Reaper, who is an offensive hero who is very good at um, taking down tanks because he uses shotguns that has a very wide area um, of that. Uh, he also heals himself when he does damage. Um, I just wasted my ult. Oh, now everyone has Bastions. Um, Okay, I'm going to play with Tracer for a bit longer. Um, King of the Hill maps have up to three... Um, King of the Hill maps have up to three... Um, rounds in them. Um, so basically it's first to two. Um, I just wasted my get out of trouble free ability. That's not where I want to be, that's in front of a Bastion. <laughs> Bastions can pump out a scary amount of damage. Okay, I'm gonna charge up um, my next ult, or ultimate. I say ult for short, everyone does. Um, and then I'm going to switch. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing. If you go off the edge, which Tracer can often do because she tends to move a bit too quickly. There we are. I managed to stick my bomb onto that bastion and blow it up. Cool. Um, so let's switch to McCree because we still need some offensive heroes in here. Um, and he's... When used correctly, he's pretty good against the characters that we're up against. Um, <laughs> because characters like Genji and Tracer do not like being... Um, okay, so um, that was Bastion's ultimate, where he turns into a tank. Um... I managed to stun him for the rest of the team to kill him, uh, but he got me back. It got me back, they got me back, she got me back, let's call Bastion a she, why not? Um, gender is a meaningless construct. Oh hi Reaper, I don't know what you're doing there. I am bad at McCree. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, well, these guys are very good at killing me, ethnically. Um. Okay. So we won the first round. Pretty good. Um. Sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I get to like the end of one of these matches and I'm just like, I kind of want to play more of this match because I'm having fun. And I'm just like, should I throw this round and then try again? Oh, that's another thing. Every character has a couple of things. So sprays, we can stick on like that. Um, you get emotes. So let's do some line dancing. Gun spinning, etc. Uh, these are some of the cosme cosmetic unlockables you can get. Oh, we have a tank now. Diva. Diva is a um, ace video games player who was definitely not put in to make Blizzard player base feel good about themselves. Um, she's actually one of my favourite characters both to play and like conceptually. Um, both to play and conceptually. Uh, but yeah, she is fan service in both, in both, <laughs> both ways of describing it. Um, I'm probably going to switch McCree soon just because I am getting killed a lot by various things. So offensive heroes have this bad habit of um, trying to be flankers uh, like I just did. Right, I'm going to do my ultimate and then switch. Um, probably to Hanzo still taken, right. Okay, Hanzo Japanese and the guy who's using Hanzo is called Weebu. <laughs> so... <laughs> that was our bastion. Oh. Um, that in the middle there is a bottomless pit. Uh, a couple of characters has abilities that can I am really bad at McCree, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I was having much better luck with Tracer, which is funny because, like, if you'd asked me which one were you better with, I would have said McCree automatically. Um, it's fun, though. It's fun to be a cowboy. I suspect, like... Uh, I had a good shot. <laughs> Kenji, <G> why? <laughs> right, I'm gonna try doing high noon and then I'm gonna switch to Reinhardt. So long story, but Reaper up there used to be Genji's, used to be McCree's boss. Their Roadhog is just so good at killing me. Uh, you can also let your teammates know that your ultimate is ready. Uh, Diva just made her mech blow up. Um, because that's what Diva does. Uh, let's be Reinhardt now. Um, Reinhardt's probably actually not the best pick here. Um, that's a lot of firepower. Particularly not with that, um... Genji can deflect projectile attacks, remember that, kids. Smart kids say no to Genji. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back for Tracer. Um, just because I don't think any of the other heroes that I'm trying to showcase here are going to be any use in this situation. Um... A lot of people like this map because the 
the bottomless pit allows for shenanigans, TM. Um, like that. <laughs> um, but uh, the I'm not too much of a fan. I don't know. It's just one never been one of those maps that really grabbed me. You know. Right, so this one doesn't have a easily accessible cliff to knock people off. Um, we have a lot of support heroes. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Reinhardt. And someone else has taken Tracer, so I can't actually show Tracer anymore. Um, in quick play, competitive and some other modes, you are limited to only using one of a character per team. Um, when I first started it was actually like you could take as many as you like of e any character so you could have like six Reinhardts. Um, this got changed because it is a silly idea. Go away Bastion. You goofy robot. Uh, Lucio has this healing out aura, which is useful, so I try to stay in it. Uh, that orb is thrown from Moria, which is also a healing orb. So if you go near it, it heals, it heals you. Hello. There's a tracer being annoying on back lines. It was worth it! Damn it. I thought I might have gotten there Winston as well, but I didn't. Winston is the gorilla. Um, I like Winston. He's a scientist. He's also from a moon. Um, <laughs> yeah, originally he was going to be the tank, but I couldn't work out. But there's kind of a theme that I want to do for a later one, which is auto-aiming heroes. Um, and... Winston just fit in too well in that, I'm afraid. So that's why Winston isn't in here, despite being... Like, Winston is objectively the main character of, like, the modern-day Overwatch story. Um, so he's the one who's kind of set up the new Overwatch. Um, got everyone out of retirement. And said, guys, we need to come together and save the world. Um, uh, yeah, I like Winston a lot. He's also a complete nerd. Um, I recommend checking out his ones. He also captured one of the most notorious criminals in the world by engaging him in a fist fight. And the guy is exactly as scary as you'd expect from a sign of someone who we had to <laughs> unleash a genetically modified super intelligent gorilla on him to take him down, as well as a ninja and a um, chrono as a time hopping woman. Yeah, um, <laughs> this game can be quite funny with a ragdoll physics. Um, <laughs> so I mean, like, um, Farah in particular, who's a character with a jetpack, like, she can be hilarious when she ends up ragdolling. We have a lot of flankers coming at us. So this is a obviously a multiplayer game. Um, all of the characters that I'm fighting against at the moment are controlled by other people. Um, so that means that kind of flowy means that Genji is trying to deflect your attacks. Um, you may have noticed he can't deflect my hammer. So Soldier has just unleashed his ultimate, which is why he said I got you in my sights, which allows him to basically have water lock on. 
Um, which sounds cheap. And it is. Um, Soldier is a very basic character. We'll get to him at some point. Um, in the lock on. Yeah, um, also, if you kill someone or st in a way that stops them from using their ultimate ability, you get a bit of an extra bonus called um, Ultimate Shutdown, which can determine who gets uh, the coveted status of play of the game. This is a close one. Um, I think we only really have time for one good push. Um, two Reinhardts enter, one Reinhardt leaves! Um, I've just had um, Lucio's ultimate placed on me, which gave me some extra health. And I don't think we're going to take this. Yeah, we've lost this one. Oh well, it's quick play, so who cares? You still get XP. So, right, ah, right. <laughs> yeah, that bastion killed a lot of us. Um, so here you get kind of these cards telling you who did lots of things. So, bastion got 41 eliminations. I'm going to upvote our Lucio because lots of healing, which was nice. And now you get XP. When you get to that level, you get a loot box. Yes, it's losing a, using a loot box system. Um, right, so... I'll do one more match, but this one I'm going to try and grab Hanzo and Mercy so I can show them. And then we will uh, call that a stream. Um, Overwatch file, like, I'm doing two games at the moment in my stream. Um... Overwatch and Sunless Sea, as you guys know, and the Overwatch files in recordings are so much bigger. Like, Sunless Sea will be 600 meg um, for a two hour recording, and Overwatch will be 6 gig for one. For a one hour recording. Ah, so it looks like I'm doing what's called backfill here, um, which means I'm kind of jumping into a game that's already not just in process, but. So here's a payload map. Uh, well, sort of. So it's a what's called a mix map. So the first aim is to capture a particular objective, um, and then the second aim is to um, move this payload um, as far as you can get towards the um, as f um, you have to get to the end. Um, they are yeah. Um, that was a lot, <laughs> that, they did not have far to go when I got dropped in there. Uh, but that is basically free XP. Um, so that's another cosmetic skin for McCree. It's kind of like a gambler skin. It's really cool. He's just hiding. <laughs> oh! Yeah, ults often get um, play of the game. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes, like, you backfill, and it was, like, the problem was just that the guy you were backfilling for was really bad, so sometimes it's a ri you suddenly drop into this really tense situation where you get lot, where you have to kind of suddenly push back, um, against a really, against a much more powerful force. Um, so this guy that you're seeing on the screen right now is called Doomfist. Um, he is the leader of Talon, a criminal organization. I actually really like him. I think he's a really cool character. I'm not sure what I think about his character design. But yeah, I'm backfilling again. Oh, come on. Guys, I'm trying to do a stream here. Uh, that's the sound of Reap result. 
he's kind, and that's the sound of a Vissier's ult. That's a lot of ults being thrown around. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know what's with my luck at this at the moment. It's just like, do ba do ba do. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Um, if I get another backfill, I might call the stream there because I feel like I've kind of demonstrated what I wanted to say uh, with this stream. Um, but we'll give it one more shot. <laughs> we'll give it one more shot. <laughs> Because uh, a load of games have apparently just ended. So, <laughs> you know. Um, a load of games have just ended. I know because I've been dropped into them. So, if we're lucky, <laughs> if we cross our fingers and hope, we'll get ourselves a proper bloody game. <laughs> I'm sorry if, there, if any children ends up listening to this. Um... I don't think I'd swear that much, but I might do. <laughs> Rather, I apologise to the parents of children, because, like, if your kid swearing is really exciting and cool and, you know, awesome. Now arriving at Nijang Tower. Prepare to attack. Also, in the Discord chat, that. In one of the Discord chats I'm in, somebody watched my the last stream I did and just called me out for being super reckless. Like, I'm glad someone else looks at a full health Reinhardt as a half health warrior and goes, Yeah, I can take them. <laughs> this is... Um... Oh my god, we don't have a Hanzo. Right, I'm going Hanzo for a bit, and then Mercy for a bit. And then... With every death, what Hanzo modes do I have? Oh, just for basic. With honor, what voice line? Expect nothing. So, this is Hanzo brother Genji, dressed up as a... Oni. Uh, that's Tracer, looking like a punk. That's Roadhog. Um, that's a cowboy. Fear of a cowboy. So this is another King of the Hill map. Um, so I just fired my scatter arrow off there. Um, I'm firing at Azaria. Um, um, Oh, there again, she killed me. <laughs> Why did you switch to Widowmaker? <laughs> Why do people always choose snipers on King of the Hill map, they ask, as they choose a sniper on a King of the Hill map? Hey, don't look at me, I'm an atheist. No one told me to be, be not like the hypocrites. Okay, so you'll notice that when... Um, you take someone down, you get that little bit of information about, like, you get, so, like, you'll get eliminated X and then a number. Uh, that indicates, so, if you do lots of damage, you get what's called on fire. Um, there's Genji. Uh, you get what's called on fire, which means, like, it doesn't actually mean that much, it just means you're awesome. Um, I must reclaim my I'm going to farm my dragons at people. I really hope. I think that's at the wrong angle, actually. Oh. I just wasted my ultimate. I'm going to stick his hands out just because I've got three golds. Basically those gold medals that you see here, those indicate um, 
my position within the team. So I've got the most eliminations, the most damage, and the most eliminations on the objective. So objective kills. Their Genji, Genji is really good at killing me. You know what else Genji is really good at killing? With it, um, mercies. So that no one can try for hunters is Widowmaker's uh, ultimate, which is called Ultra Infosite. Um, we are not. You are took down the Genji. You should have picked Mercy. You should have picked any kind of support. Can't find your own pulse, Mercy. That's not a good sign. Also, apparently, you haven't aged for like nine years. You're kind of scary, Mercy. What have you done? She's actually in her 30s. And also, she looks pretty good for someone whose life is currently um, spent running around trying to help people in need. So you'll notice that when my allies need healing... <laughs> I'd go say, you'll notice that when my allies need healing, they get these little um, things coming up. And I can see my ally, ally silhouettes as a healer. Um, and I can see a kind of rough indication of how much health they, they have. Um, so currently my team's health is listed as not much. And that was a really dumb idea. This is not a team that wants to group up, uh, basically. I mean, to be honest, if I was playing this normally, I'd take a different hero. Um, like, I think part of it is just we need some more firepower. They've got a lot of high firepower heroes right now. Oh, hi, Genji. You go use your ultimate on me, are you? Okay. <laughs> Have fun. I think, to be honest, at this point, like the only way I'm going to get some revives off is if I um, use my ultimate, which drastically speeds up. Um, so Moria's ult is kind of interesting in that it's a um, it's a beam of light that both does damage to enemy enemy that hits and heals allies, um, which is cool. Um, there we go. Up you get. We don't. You're Hanzo. Um, <laughs> I say as if I wasn't playing Hanzo just now. So Hanzo may so like Hanzos are kind of notorious for never being on the point. Actually, all the snipers are, apart from maybe um, Anna, who is the healing sniper. Um, but like, even when you desperately need someone to kind of get on the point and hold it, um, they won't. Uh, you'll notice that basically, if I if I'm healing someone and they kill someone, um, I get a little thing called assist. I get an assist bonus. Um, so currently I've done seven assists. Um, I probably need to get better at working out when to use um, my 
I can't, I can't heal you over there, Diva. <laughs> when in doubt, assume that a enemy Genji is about to kill your healer. Just all the time, every time. Uh, I got kind of unlucky in that I kept being matched up with in team against teams with good Genjis, who, as you can see, are kind of really good counters to the heroes that I'm showcasing at the moment. Um. But they're the end of his part of the game, you know? And if you're only using a certain thing of heroes, you're not actually going to be... Um, you're going to be countered. So one of my mains, um, Symmetra, she just eats Genjis for breakfast. <laughs> like, um, I quite often really annoy Genji players by playing her because she has an auto-lock beam that can just chew through Genji. I kind of love her. Um, I can't wait to show her off. Um, <laughs> I should have predicted that. That was entirely predictable. Hi Genji. What are you going to do? Not a lot. That's cool. Um, I'm not sure how much. Oh yeah, Winston V Gorilla has a Tesla cannon. Because why not? Okay, so that was um, the first five characters of Overwatch. Um, I have a feeling I'm about to be killed in this play of the game. Yep. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, those were the first five characters of Overwatch. Um, I hope you've got a better idea of how they work. Um, I'm gonna go and play some Destiny now because I said to my friends I would. Um, sorry, couldn't work out how to stream it, but hope you enjoyed it, and I'll put the recording up on YouTube at some point. Cool. Uh, have a good night, and bye, everyone.